Now, social media is fast becoming one of the most popular ways to shop online, but it doesn't come without risks, especially from problems like fake ads. It's forced Instagram and Facebook to come up with new features to protect consumers. Sunrise consumer correspondent Sean White has been investigating and he joins us from the tech giant's HQ in San Francisco. Sean, it's the way of the future, but how can customers be sure they are actually getting the real deal? Yeah, good morning, guys. Um, well, exciting this morning because we can actually announce for the first time some new tools uh, coming to these platforms, uh, which just shows how much Instagram and Facebook are investing in the space. But with that comes a responsibility to obviously uh, protect consumers' rights and make sure you don't get scammed. Shopping has never been so simple. You can click and collect and scroll and select. A seamless process that is about to get even easier. Native checkout, which is the ability to buy a product directly on Instagram once you find it. Instagram's testing a new feature which will basically allow users to shop stores without ever having to leave the app. Vishal Shah is the head of product for the platform. Testing with just a handful of brands in the US to start, but our intention is very much to take that product globally uh, and to increase the amount of businesses that can use it because we think it's actually a, a really great experience for people. They're also testing the same tool, but for content creators, giving them the ability to link directly from a post to the actual purchase. Which creators can actually use these features because I guess you want to make sure they're legitimate, right? You're exactly right in pointing out we need to have clear guidelines and standards both from you know, what creators get access to the tool, but also ensuring that we can protect people from fraud or from uh, false representation of products. Well, fake endorsements have been a big problem on Facebook and on Sunrise we've seen firsthand how people get duped into handing over their money. It was supposed to be just a free trial, no, no tide. A month later, they charged my bank account $139.90. Koshi also used without his consent with this ad and again this time with a cryptocurrency fake endorsement. I do not endorse Bitcoin and anyone who uses me in an ad on Facebook, it is a scam. I'm not endorsing face cream on Facebook, Koshi's not endorsing Bitcoin, please no. don't give your money to these scams. In response to this, Facebook confirmed they have removed the ads, the associated ad account and the actual page. They're now in the process of blocking all of the specific links from being able to be shared on the platform in future. Well, Facebook says they're investing heavily into machine learning technology and artificial intelligence that's getting better and better every day at spotting fake ads. They also say that if you do see something that looks like a scam, to report it immediately so they can investigate. And it's never been more important to be vigilant considering how much time Aussies spend shopping online. Australia Post recently released its annual Inside Australia online shopping report, which showed more than 73% of households use the internet to shop, spending a whopping $27.5 billion. But the online platforms are not all about spending. Some consumers are actually making money using social media platforms like Facebook's marketplace. And how much have you made in total, do you think? So in the last three years, we worked out that it's been over $15,000 wow. that we have made from selling things. My husband often jokes at, if it's not bolted down, I will sell it. Olivia White is from Melbourne and runs a lifestyle and motherhood blog called House of White, where she talks about everything from decluttering to making extra cash. Well, she's been flown over to Facebook HQ to talk about how much money she's made. One of my most infamous stories is that we sold our shed on Marketplace. <laughs> we were renovating and we needed to remove it. It was going to be like $1,000 to have it professionally removed. And I threw it up on Marketplace and yeah, $100 later, someone wow. came and took it down for me. Well, Deb Blue is the Vice President for Facebook Marketplace. Well, she says Aussies should look out for a new feature that's in development. So we're testing live shopping. So imagine you, we have live videos across Facebook, but we noticed that people were actually starting to sell things through live video. They would actually interact with their audience, talk about their products, but also invite other people and invite their friends. People would invite their friends to shop from the same channel. Well, one thing's for certain, with the ever-evolving online shopping and selling space, social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram have to beef up their customer protection so you can shop safe until you drop. Yes, take that advice, Sean White reporting there. Please don't believe the scams on Facebook.